Hi, welcome to an Annex 10 video tutorial. It's the fix for the cam belt. One of you wrote in the comments, I should try to pattern the sketch before the extrude. And I went for it, so I show you how to fix this model. So this sketch, I go to this extrude and just make it current feature. So that extrude should be with a different sketch. So make this sketch current feature. And let's go for a geometry pattern. So go for pattern geometry. And the sketch is already not, it's not already, so just select it. And the count should be again the formula the tooth number and the pitch distance should be the pattern length okay and confirm now let's go to the extrude and switch let's hide this one activate the extrude and deselect that curve Or I could I could sel let it select it. I just have to add the pattern. So I add yes. That's it. Confirm. Now the pattern feature should be deactivated because I don't need it anymore. So let's activate it and. Okay, the zoo same. Make on feature. It's deactivated. That's okay. What I have to change, or I would go for a different approach. I will make this extrude symmetric. Okay. And in sketch seven, let's activate this one. and hide our extrude for a moment and change the value use expression from 10 to 5 that's okay so I could delete this okay now that's sketch 5 so go to sketch 6, that's the line, that's ok, sketch 7, that's my curve, and let's go back to 10, this works, ok, nice, go to the law defined spline, make current feature, activate it, and see that the law curve is correctly selected. Seems OK. So go to the section surface. Change the tooth number to 5. Yes. Back to 10. Yes, now make this current feature, that current feature, and this current feature, and then just hide the not necessary elements, the sketches, the curves, and the sheet bodies. Yes, and I'm done. So, hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks again to the user which gave me the hint. And see you till the next one. Bye-bye.